obviously the result is different because Justice O'Connor was replaced by uh, Justice uh, Alito. But the tone of this opinion is really quite extraordinary because it has shifted from being uh, an argument about abortion uh, regulations uh, being designed uh, to uh, further the state's interest in human life alone into a case in which the argument is that the reason, and I'm going to probably regret this in a moment that I say this, but uh, that women will later regret their decisions. Uh, and so in order to protect them, uh, we have to save them. And I think this is what uh, got the liberals on the court so upset with the decision is the decision is written in a tone in which the pregnant woman is referred to almost entirely as the mother, although these women have made a decision that they do not want to be mothers now. Um, the fetus is always referred to as the unborn child. The doctors are not referred to as physicians but as abortionists. Uh, and so this really is a case where the court purports to be issuing a very narrow decision uh, that it's just forbidding this one practice and therefore there's no undue burden on women. But the rationale the court has given here would allow them, I think, to ban any abortion procedure because any woman might regret. Um, now, of course, you might wonder, how does the court know this? And Justice Kennedy is quite candid. The court knows this because it looked deep inside itself. At several points, he said, well, there's no evidence to support my position, but I don't need no stinking evidence. Um, and so I think this is a really uh, fundamental change in the court's sensibility about abortion. Um, and it's played out, as we may discuss later, in a number of the other cases where the court says, well, we don't actually need evidence because we know this to be true. I mean, we're back to the Declaration of Independence now, right? We hold these truths to be self-evident. Women will regret the abortions they have, and therefore, in order to prevent this, uh, we have to save them by denying them the ability to make a choice. And so 